unit rates and proportional reasoning. Now, a rate is a ratio that compares two quantities measured in different units. Now, examples of these, we see them all the time, uh, 70 miles per two hours, or $100 for two sweaters. And it's just, if you notice, there's the dollars and the sweaters, the miles and the hours. If you think about it, we do this all the time. When you make a sandwich, you have two pieces of bread to maybe two slices of cheese. That's a rate and just happens all the time and, and we we use it a lot, uh, especially when you do things like go shopping. A unit rate is a rate that compares a quantity to one unit. So up here we got 70 miles for two hours. This would be 30, that's the same as 35 miles per one hour. And so 35 miles per hour, that's, um, that's how fast you're going. To get a unit rate, just divide the top unit by the number from the bottom. Now, most of the time, the world refers to items by unit rates. And if you go to the grocery store, you'll see this a lot. But here is an example. Find a unit rate. Run 10 miles in two hours. Now, one of the things to realize is that most of the time, when we come up with a unit rate, we're saying that the second one is the bottom of the unit rate. So, uh, so this would be 10 miles, and you still should write out the units, 10 miles per two hours. Now, what I need to do next is just divide the top and the bottom by two, so then I have one hour. and five miles. So maybe you're running five miles in one hour. That's a pretty reasonable pace. Um, now over here, $15.20 uh, $15 for three feet. I don't know, maybe it's plumbing supplies or something like that, or wood. But um, so if you want to come up with a unit rate, again, one of the things really important to understand is when you're working with rates and ratios, it is okay to have parts of it, even though it looks like a fraction, parts of it that are decimals. So here, feet. And so what we're then going to go ahead and do is divide the top and the bottom by three. I don't know how that works, so I don't know what that's going to be. It's probably actually going to be something kind of messy, but we'll do an S or we'll do a, a rounded number then. But here, three goes into uh, into one zero times. Three goes into fifteen five times. So now I got that decimal point there anchored. Three goes into two zero times. Three goes into twenty six times. And then we subtract again, end up with two, and it's just going to keep going on. So we're going to just simplify this because remember we're dealing with $15.20, so we're looking for the amount of dollars and cents. So if we look here, this would be 06, and then we keep on being 666. So we want to round to make it clear so we have pennies because you obviously cannot have divide a penny anymore. So we round up to the penny here, to the nearest penny. So this would be $5.67 per one foot. Now here is find the total price using each unit price. Now if you were to buy 10 gallons at $3.75 per gallon, all you're doing is you're saying, well, I, it's $3.75 per gallon, and you're having 10 of them. So all you do is you multiply 10 times this, which is just going to be $37.5. And if this was 8 gallons, you multiply 8 times this, and, and so on. So you're just saying um, if you were... Uh, told that you're running five miles per hour and you run for 10 hours, then that would mean that you would had run 50 miles, which would be really impressive in that amount of time. So the next thing I want to talk about is how you use this every single day. 
if you go shopping. For um, if you were to go to a store and you see that cheese is for sale, um, and you see that eight ounces of cheese is three dollars and twenty nine cents, thirty six ounces of cheese is ten dollars and fifty cents. Uh, maybe you're going to like Sam's Club or something like that, and a big old block of cheese, over two pounds of cheese here. Um, and so what you want to do is you want to figure out which one is the best buy. You're going to go through it. You're not worried about wasting it. So what we have to do is we have to figure out which one costs the least per ounce. And that's an important distinction. Logically, you want to pay the least per ounce to determine the better buy. You don't want to go ahead and can figure out which one uh, put this as the bottom and this is the top, because then you'd be asking how many ounces per dollar, which would be a confusing thing to do. You want to go ahead and have, and you want more ounces per dollar. Here, you want to go ahead and have, have it be a little bit different, which is just to go ahead and say 3.29 dollars. <laughs> divided by 8 ounces. So now we're just going to go ahead and divide them in. Well, actually, let's let's do this a little bit differently, and then we'll set them up both. $10.50. Because it's just asking you for which one is the best deal. So think about that logically, and you don't even necessarily have to do the full problem because you're just trying to figure out which one is the cheaper per ounce. So let's start off with this one here, 8. I want to find out the unit rate per ounce, $3.29. So does 8 go into 3? No, it does not. Does 8 go into 32? Yes, it does. Four times. So that's 32. So now I go down, bring down the, the 9. Does 8 go into 9? Yes, it does. 41. So I'm just going to stop right here for a minute because I could continue this on if I wanted to. But let's see how, if, uh, if we can already figure out which one's the better deal. So this is going to be 10. And I already have it down to the per ounce um, amount or close to the per ounce amount. Uh, so here, 10, 50 divided by 36. So 36, does it go into 1? No. Nope. Does it go into 10? No, it does not. Does it go into 105? Yes, it does. Well, it goes in once. That's 36. It goes in twice. That's 72. Does it go in three times? Well, 3 times 36 is going to be and have the one up there, carry the one, nine, one dollar, or 108. So it doesn't even go in three times, so it goes in two times. And surprisingly enough, we already have our answer as to which is the best buy. Because check it out, this is 20 something cents per ounce, and that's 41 per cents per ounce. But let's go ahead and, and make sure that this is right. So this is going to be 33. Subtract that out. And then we put a zero here. Let's at least go to the um, to the cents, what would be the cents column over here. So let's see here. Does uh, 36 go in this? doesn't go in 10 times. That's good. Uh, maybe it goes in 9 times. So let's see here. 9 times 36. That's going to be equal to 54, 27, 32. So 324 is if this was 9 up here. Let's say it up with 6. And so we know which one is the better deal. It's 29 cents per ounce per 36 ounces, uh, so because, excuse me, per one ounce, because we divided this into the total cost. And that makes sense, because most of the times when you buy a bigger amount of an item, it's cheaper. So this one here is going to be 
the better deal. This isn't always the case, but and sometimes, you know, um, maybe it's a fancier type of cheese and it would be more expensive. But if that if it's the same, then it's probably going to be the bigger one. It's going to be uh, less expensive in reality. Although sometimes in math problems, uh, they don't actually do it that way. So, and we're done.